The old man-made law is still alive and well in 2010, in the UK and in 2023 in Ireland. Under this law, people cannot force me to engage in dialogue with anybody I do not want to. Therefore, I remain virginal with respect to woman networking, or liaising with women, and with respect to passive listeners, and advisory agencies even in 2023. Such non-cooperation is a death sentence. I compare this with the UK, where men from the Pembroke would kick and bang the door after my boyfriend went to work. This happened in the City of London and mostly in the year 2010. These muscle men, whom I could sometimes hear as they used walkie-talkies with each other, since they did not have equal rights with the police, and so were not allowed to break down the door, only to make a false case later to justify it. The desire of the Pembroke man loitering outside the front door was to engage me in conversation when I stepped out, with the ultimate goal to hook me up with Pembroke employees gifted at birth with female genitalia to fix my head. The Pembroke were probably on the NHS payroll. The Pembroke are uneducated folks, probably 90% immigrants. Pembroke and similar agency staff seem to have a habit of calling themselves clinicians to fool functionally illiterate service users. I feel presenting false credentials to supposedly feeble-minded is fraud and should be legally punished. I feel it would be more truthful to rename the Pembroke as an immigrant women's coffee house than to show them as rendering a health service. Agencies such as the Pembroke are given discretionary power over people that seek their assistance. They are supplied with 10-pound notes by the state, as well as a refrigerator and the facility to make a lot of coffee and sandwiches. A psychiatrist, who is licensed by the state to render services visits such places from time to time. During their visit, they can see members of the public, if they want. Under UK law. There is no way to force an individual to engage in dialogue with another person. You can refuse to talk to Pembroke. You can refuse to talk to a psychiatrist or GP if they request it. You can refuse medical treatment, even life-saving treatment. This legal code does not apply to a person sectioned under the Mental Health Act, and we cannot know what takes place behind those walls, impermeable to police scrutiny. They are compassion dispensers with the supreme, sovereign right to police themselves. The right to be their own alpha and omega. The right to create their own evidence. If a member of the public walks into the premises of a mental health outreach like Pembroke, seeking help, all they ask for could be that ten-pound note, and coffee with sandwiches. A little booster for a homeless man, which makes his day. It is common for drunks, mostly male, to be regular visitors of places like Pembroke for this little booster gift. And if you have any common sense, you will understand without being told that only drunks that flatter and please Pembroke women are going to get this little booster, which helps the hungry and the cold. I feel nobody would want to talk to Pembroke staff or staff of similar agencies that exist all over the UK. But when they had over a 10 pound note and some refreshments, they get thanks.